Oh, I'm tired, dude. I'm tired of this game right now. Oh, boy. Thanks for this one, Riot. I hold Riot personally fucking accountable for doing this shit. Like, personally fucking accountable. You guys buffed Karma. You guys refused to nerf Karma. Every Karma funnel comp, every Karma top, that's on your dumb fucking asses for not doing anything about it. Yeah, the Riven change isn't really going to impact much. The Jax change... I feel like the Jax change is going to impact a lot, but it's hard to say off the top of my head. I'm just looking at that change, though. Like, I'm honestly just looking at that change, and, I, and I'm like, that, that's going to be an impactful change. I just don't know where. You know? Like... And again, the problem I have with that Jax buff, they're not changing or buffing Jax in a way that makes him less of a counter pick. They're just making him a better counter pick. Like, reducing Leap Strike's cooldown doesn't make him win trades he would have lost. It just means that if he would have won the trade now, it'll be even more dangerous in the future. You know? The only champion I really think it's going to affect a lot is Aatrox. And the Jax Aatrox matchup does keep swinging who wins. Patch to patch. So... I'm not saying Jax will win it now, but he'll start winning it sooner. Like, he's not going to win the laning phase, but he's going to start winning after the laning phase a lot sooner now. That is not what I told it to do. I would rather they buff Jax- like, like, she's been spamming every fucking ability on cooldown. All three fucking abilities used in every fucking trade. Look at her mana! Are you watching this shit, Riot? Look at her fucking mana, you dumbasses! Look at this! It's going up! As she's spamming abilities, it's fucking going up! Her mana costs are so fucking low! A fucking mana potion takes, or sorry, gives more mana than she uses. Her whole fucking, like. Do you guys wonder, honestly, do you guys wonder why every top lane main quits after getting Masters? Because once you get Masters, people start, like, legitimately playing to win. Not to win with their their favorite champion, but to, like, just fucking win. And once you start playing to just fucking win in top lane, you stop playing fun stuff. And you start playing Kennen top. And you start playing Karma top. And, and this starts being my lane matchups. A Karma who's funneling gold. Or I guess at, th at this point she's not funneling gold. I thought it was going to be a funnel comp. A Karma who's basically just farming me for gold. 
while spamming every ability into my face. From the pure safety of her zero mana cost shield. Dude, I used everything, buddy. That that was me. Like I, I I don't I don't have anything more to give, friend. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. And of course, her team has the S tier pick. Sorry, S plus tier pick. Whereas we have zero S plus tier pick, so we just kind of lose this one. Oh, Riot does give a fuck. Their fucks end at about, will this impact bot lane? If removing Karma top will impact bot lane even slightly, Riot goes, oh, we can't do that. That might make bot laners feel bad, and we can't have that. Bot laners want to be able to play Karma. Who cares if top laners get fucked over? Two hundred eighty five gold plus things that she sold. Shouldn't he have queued to knock up when she was charmed? Hmm. You'll notice the only time that Vlad got nerfed was when he was being played bot lane. And they nerfed him only enough to get him to stop being played bot lane, and that was it. So long as he wasn't being played bot lane, Riot was a-fucking-okay with everything. I feel like this Karma is really outplaying me here. Zero damage items. Just... Not even a fucking Doran's ring, dude. This is the average skill of your Karma top player. Throws her RQ in the opposite direction. Walks up and engages through my entire minion wave. Riot be like, well, you have to count for the fact that they're mentally disabled. We wouldn't want them to be bad. We better overstat her to compensate. Like, literally just runs up to me in melee range in the middle of my minion wave. Yeah, that's Kiana. Uh, I guess we got a pink. So, Kuyana, Riot, Kuyana. I'm honestly unable to say anything about Riot other than Again, it's seeming like incredibly fucking vindictive with worlds coming that they're giving completely token irrelevant nerfs to champions like Kyuyana and Akali. 
basically trying to trick people into thinking they're not overpowered anymore while very much leaving them overpowered so that they can make big plays at Worlds. Which, in my opinion, seems incredibly vindictive, abusive, and honestly, totally just, like... Okay. Yep. I, uh, guess I was outplayed. Vindictive? I, I would say that seems to be the right word. It seems like they actually hate their player base. Like, they actually just fucking hate their player base. And do so many of these changes because they just fucking hate you for playing League of Legends. Like, they see you playing League. And they just get pissed off. They just, it's like, they're just like, why? Why? We've made this game so shitty. Why the fuck are you still playing it? That's it. We're buffing Tank Karma Top. But Twitch chat, if we nerfed Karma top, the Karma support players might be sad. Who cares if top laners are in a shitty state? You know, fuck them. They're playing top lane. They're used to this. Not our poor, poor Karma support players, though. They, they deserve so much better, Twitch chat. They don't deserve to be nerfed. No, no, not like this. She dodges all your stuff, though. Oh, wow. Wait, you're telling me the champion who has two abilities with no animations and her ult with no animations and her Q with a 0.25 second animation and her shield, which gives her a movement speed buff? You're telling me that champion who's also ranged and gets to sit at range can dodge my ability? Twitch chat, that's incredible. Wow, she can dodge my abilities when given an absolutely perfect kit to dodge my abilities with. Who would have guessed it? Yeah, welcome to Tank Karma, dude. Real fucking fun, huh? Enemy killing spree. 
I would scale her. Actually, something of uh, a misconception. Tank Karma actually outscales most top laners. Because eventually, after the Iceborne Gauntlet, she starts building support items. And support items outscale bruiser items. So long as you have a viable hard carry. And uh, it appears they have two. Actually, me teleporting might have helped in retrospect. Yeah, um, but seriously, Tank Karma outscales most bruisers. The champions she doesn't outscale are mages, but that's because mages scale so fucking good that they're not going to get outscaled. Bruisers, though, oh, 100 fucking percent she'll outscale you. She'll stop being able to kill you 1v1, but, like, in a team fight? Oh, yeah, she's way more useful than you. That's not good. Shut down. An ally has been slain. They The problem, as I see it, is that they don't want to give up on Karma being, like, a damage support, if you will. Like, they like the idea of Karma support, being able to do damage and shit. But without giving that up, she's always going to be a viable top laner. And Tank Karma top, especially, is going to be a viable top laner. And so, at some point... Right needs or needed to make the decision as to how do they allow karma to be used bot lane without abusing top lane. And their solution is fuck it, we don't give a shit. Which uh is a bit annoying, sure, but you know top laners kinda got used to it. They could have nerfed Karma's support shit. They could have nerfed her Q damage. But, no. No. They said, we'll, we'll nerf her team fighting. That's a problem. She's giving too much shield to the team. And all the top laners are like, well, okay, what about top lane? And Riot's like, eh, nah. Nah, we, we don't care. Well, that's the other thing. Riot has a tendency to believe in something. And then when all logic, all reasoning, everything says that's not true, they basically just dig down harder and go, yes, it is. It's 
If he followed me there, I was going to use my third Q and smash him, but he didn't. When I missed my W, the entire trade kind of became bad. So... Yeah, the only the only way I could have killed him there is if he queued over the wall at me into my third Q and died. He will call me a God killer. See, now she starts building support items. Uh okay. Yeah. As I said, Kyuyana is S plus tier. And as I explained earlier, S plus tier champ champions are like so fucking broken right now. Akali, Kiyana, like, at a certain point, how can you blame a dude for dying when the kill combo from Kiyana was to press Q and auto attack, you know? Like, at what point, at what point can you be like, okay, maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe it's a bit too much to expect someone to never get hit by an auto attack and a giant AoE nuke. Dude, Kyuyana and Akali are... In relation to how powerful other champions are, they're some of the most imbalanced things that have ever existed in League history. They will greet you as heroes. Don't stand near a wall. Bam, ult countered. Uh, her ultimate pushes you into a wall and is also ranged. And also she has two gap closers. Are you... Oh, if he had come to me there. Okay. Honestly, I just want Kiyana and Akali banned. Kiyana, Akali, and Riven. That's all I give a shit about. J just ban those fucking three. I don't even care about Kennen anymore, dude. Just the fucking... Kiyana, Akali, and that's that's literally all I fucking care about. 
Those champions are so much better than everyone else. It, it's not even fucking close. Those three champions are like season three Cassidy, and everyone else is like a fucking schoolgirl. <sighs> That's what's fucking scary. The fact that Vladimir doesn't even compare to those three, dude. That's what should actually start disturbing you. The fact that even overpowered champions look worthless compared to those three picks. It's not even close. Even if all I do is try to play top tier champions, those three are still so much fucking better than everyone else. It's not even close. There is such a huge gap between those three and everyone else. <sighs> 